all come back, we're all gonna die. <laughs> this is not gonna go well. I'm pretty dang sure this is not gonna go well. I'm just trying to mark all the various places that death is inevitable from. Like circling everywhere. eyes are. I'm a little worried if I leave this cover. And that guy is a problem, and that guy is a problem. Implicitly. Steam's blasting out. I wonder if those are weak points. Uh, the turret. The weakness is tear. Yes, but there are still a few small guys I'd like to take care of. Maybe. I can. Okay, hang on. That was weird. Okay, component removed, baby. 
have been removed. The terror, I thought the terror was the key, but apparently not. You guys have any wires? this point, my guy. Oh, crap. Time to upgrade my modification satchel if I can. That's a big old, big old bummer. Okay, inventory modifications. Uh, okay, I will get rid of the, some of these green ones. The eclipse. I definitely did. All right. The eclipse officer had a focus. Oh, okay. Let's see what's on it. I couldn't loot him until I was done. Done, done. Don't put that in your ear. No, don't do it. It's dumb. What? What is it? The corruption. The entity lives. <gasps> Unacceptable. 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 Ah! It's for 
freaking like the Cybermen and the Daleks. What the hell was yep, that? Yep, yep. Hades? That was a really bad idea. Hey. Mysterious stranger, did you see that? No answer, huh? Figures. Figures. Things just keep getting stranger. I need, I need to find a way. I need wires. Do you have wire? Okay, I don't need that. Spooky! It's very loud, very loud, yes. What kind of, uh, modifications did I get? A tear coil, maybe, or a shock one. I got three, and I only have, what, seven? So we have 20% ranged ones. Resist corruption, resist, or include corrupt. Okay. Okay. And tear. Ooh, wow, that was a good one. Those would be good. That'd be good for, um, the people, I think. I'm soaked from melted snow. Oh, I hate that! Legit. It's tight, but I can squeeze through. Okay, no going back. Yep, this is a this is a no going back sort of scenario. Hold for identity scan. One of these again. If I'm a clone, I'm gonna have a cow. <laughs> She's not impressed. Genetic profile confirmed. Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. I am a ghost! Step inside. Okay, how come the one in the other place didn't recognize me then? Okay, what are you seeing, my girl? We're a clone of, like, the woman who made all these things, maybe. But what happened? Did they gain, like, some sort of sentience? Like, like, what is up? Like, what made them go bad? Or was it people? Did people make them go bad? You know? Dr. Father, you are... 355,510 days out of day for your meeting with Mr. Fair. Please proceed to the 35th floor. Wait, wait, wait. 350,000. That's hundreds of years ago. What's going on? Okay, uh... I mean, I feel like, oh, am I up high? I was like, I feel like I should be going up, but. But it's the 35th floor is lower. This is a bunker, it said, so I'm kind of anticipating bodies. Maybe not. Oh my gosh, is there, they're not gonna, you're not gonna let me look around for clues? There's not gonna be- okay. There's gotta be stuff. There's gotta be stuff. Aha! The protocols use polyphasic entangled waveforms. Quantum encryption. Black court stuff. Way beyond military grade. That's what you demanded. So that's what we delivered. You don't code something you can't crack. All we need is a backdoor. Upload the latest service pack update and the problem goes away. You specifically forbade us from leaving anything resembling a backdoor in code. Every protocol to Blackboard standard. Your words. Look, if you need me to fudge some projections, it's nothing we haven't done before. I don't need fudged projections. I need a way to reassert control over the Hearts Timor Swarm. I don't know what to tell you, Ted. You're asking the impossible. So, codes. They needed codes of some kind to control the machines. But they got out of control. Mm hmm. This sounds bad. Somebody always leaves a back door, though, in these sorts of situations. Like, and why wouldn't you want a back door included? Like, I mean, it's dumb. Uh, you, 
for the most part, everything should come with a back code or a back door. Like, in these, especially if you're dealing with like AI, like stuff like this, like you need a back door to try to, to fix things sometimes. I mean, some, it can get you into trouble too, but like, obviously in this situation, like it was needed to fix something that went wrong. They, they lost control over some sort of swarm. And... Oh, health potion. And... Yeah, no, that's really dumb. Like, I don't know. I mean, maybe I just watch too much sci-fi and all that, but like... Somebody always does a backdoor somewhere, you know? And, and sometimes it's used for nefarious purposes, and sometimes it saves the day, you know? A Deathbringer. Or a statue of one, anyway. A machine built to kill. And they honored it? Welcome to Feral Automated Solutions, where all the problems of ah! are being solved today. With over 25,000 human employees human based ones. in nations and corporate holdings across the globe, Feral leads the world in every sector of self-sustaining, fully automated technology. Yes. From revolutionary consumer products close to home, like the Ferro Focus, to the dynamic chariot line of peacekeeping robots causing oh, yeah. bloodshed in conflict zones across the globe, Ferro remains committed to making the future smarter, brighter, safer, and always surprising. No. Ferro no. Automated Solutions. For every problem no. of life, a smart solution. Surprising is bad. So they made the focus. Surprising is bad. Five thousand people. That's bigger than a tribe. So they made machines and devices. I guess those things were common in their world. Gimme, give gimme. Give Field commanded Dang of the Indo Malay Agricultural Combine arrived with the delegation. Refreshments to be served before 10:15. Sales presentation on the chariot line. Per instructions, food will be vegetarian only. Uh, standard. So this is like standard new. This is a like schedule. Uh, yeah. We'll use Tacoma blend. No artificial. Uh, so that happened. Called security and janitorial to clean up the coffee that was spilled. Action more like thrown. I wasn't aware that Indo Malay Combine grows coffee beans and that Fresh Grounds acquisition team had tried to take their fields by force repeatedly. I think Commandant Dang had Agnew by the hair for a second there. Who schedules these things? I'm gonna drop a line to sales. This can't happen again. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So they had, like, wow. Yeah. Like, who? Wow. You really? You wouldn't know that? It seems. Ugh, that's so basic! You don't put- Oh, you, know, you gotta research your clients before you bring them in. Ugh. What was this place? What uh, were they doing here? It was a corporation. A group of people not unlike a tribe. And they made machines. I'm getting- Yeah, go on. I've uploaded some data files to your focus. Okay. They'll help you understand. Anderson, I've missed you! So much! Okay. Elizabeth Sobeck in 2020 was an American scientist, roboticist, and engineer widely regarded as one of the greatest minds of the 21st century. Born and raised outside Carson City, Nevada, she enrolled at Stanford U at age 13, earning a BS in experimental physics and computer science at the age of 16. She completed her PhD in robotics and artificial intelligence design at Carnegie Mellon University in 2040 and joined Faro Automated Solutions as a junior scientist the same year, rising quickly to chief scientist at the age of 22. Man, I feel like I've done nothing with my life. At the next day, ever the next eight years, her green, her green robot designs played a vital role in realizing the environmental cleanup and detoxification of the claw back decade, propelling fast to the forefront of its field. So she did. She made machines. This is why they're like self-automating, basically, is because they like they don't require like oil or gasoline or anything. Um, in 2048, she suddenly resigned from FAST, protesting the company's pivot to automated military technologies. In 2049, she founded Miriam Technologies, a firm devoted to life positive robotics and other technologies. Miriam has since become one of the world's largest suppliers of green robots, winning numerous awards and accolades, including the 2053 Nobel Prize for Physics and the 2056 Rachel Carson Award for Environmental Progress. That sounds nice. 
Uh, Ted, Theodore Ted Farrow, born in 2013, hey, uh, is an American, so he was like uh, seven years older than her, is an American entrepreneur and business magnate. He is the founder of Farrow Automated Solutions, the largest corporation of all time, the world's wealthiest individual, and the first ever trillionaire, of course. Born and raised in Salt Lake City, Utah, he enrolled at the University of California, Los Angeles, where he studied business for two years before dropping out in 2023, Surfest. Though it struggled at first, the company broke through at the end of the troubled 2030s with its popular line of personal surfaces and bodyguard bots, then exploded when the famous line of green robots led the race to evolve the climate crisis during the 2040s clawback. At the end of that decade, FAST opened a military defense branch dominating the world market for an automated military platform by 2053. The success of FAST has made Mr. Farrow the world's well world's best-known businessman, one of its most sought-after speakers, and a major voice in politics, culture, and international affairs. Yikes! I don't know. Somebody shouldn't... One individual person shouldn't have that much power, you know? And, like, private sector is, like, things can get done in private sector that takes forever to do in, like, government sector, but it also can go really, really bad really, really fast. Like, there's no one... There's no one... that he's, He wasn't accountable to anybody. He had too much money, you know? It's kind of like somebody who exists in the billionaire stages nowadays. Haha. <laughs> uh, Faro Automated Solutions is an American multinational corporate entity that produces robots for all walks of life, though its core business consists of military and defense content. Of course it does. It's from America. What else would we do? Make the world a better place? No, let's blow it up. Though its core business consists of military and defense contracts, as of 2063, FAST has a net ranked number one among Fortune 5 by gross revenue and profit for 10 years in a row, a world record. Founded by blah blah blah, his, his company has developed several promising robots. Okay, but she was able to keep, like, she came in and made their green robots line go well. So, did she have, like, a patent for it? Or, like, did he keep sending out green robots and she kept making green robots as well? But different kinds, maybe? There's gotta be, like, a patent thing there, and he wouldn't have let her go willingly. Like, somebody that intelligent, like... And, like... So important to his business, you know? Um... It's early as it failed to break into markets dominated by then-industry... Oh! Several, several promising robot prototypes in its early years. But it failed to break into markets dominated by then-industry giants like General Synthetics and Recor. This changed in 2038 with the debut of the Al... At Alfred, Al at Alfred line, Alfred line of levitating personal servitors, levitating what, which generated exceptional sales, lifting the company into the Fortune 50 for the first time. Profits tripled in the 2040s as the company's environmental efforts, led by famed engineer Elizabeth Sobek, catapulted fast into the head of the sector in 2049 in the wake of successful green and climate. Uh, cleanup efforts around the globe. Worldwide approval ratings of FAST exceeded 90% and the founder was he was above the land and saved the world. Yet it was the emergence of FAST as a military contractor in the late 2040s that cemented its status as the world's wealthiest corporation with a record market capitalization of over $23 trillion. They control, by 2055, they control 61% of the market share for automated military platforms holding contracts with 353 nations, transnational, transgovernmental organizations, and corporate entities. Today, it's holding to exceed the second largest corporation by 321%. Um, definition, corporation. An association of individuals created under authority of law having existence, powers, and liability distinct from those of its members. In a business sense, a corporation is usually owned by shareholders, though the sale or distribution of stock who profit from such ownership vote at designated times for its governance and designate executives who run its affairs. Most corporations engage in one or more industries to produce goods and offer services for profit and may in turn own other corporations, companies, or properties as holdings. Good to know. That was the reception log. Yep, okay. Alright, I read them, Anderson, for you. Um, no bodies yet, which is interesting. You better not be hiding um, goodies from me. Wait. Nope, not a body. Aha! From Tad Farrell. Now I know this must seem like a bizarre change in direction. I mean, we're Farrell Automated Solutions, right? Number one robotics firm in the world. I don't like the way Why he talks. Why would we clear our production slate to fabricate human-operated vehicles and weapon systems, the relics of the past? All I can say at this juncture is... Trust me, we will be exploiting a massive 
uh, growth opportunity by retooling and reallocating capacity according to my Yeah, plan. because your AI went so I will nutty. Revise projections of mass fabrication velocity across every pipeline within 36 hours. So they were making machines. They because they had to fight the machines! Weapons? Why? Trust me, says the trillionaire whose employees barely make enough to, like, live, let alone be able to afford anything resembling some sort of decent health care or de- Ugh! Ugh! Rich people are so annoying. Like, it's so true to form. It's so true to form. Like, they got the trillionaire down pat. He's like, oh, yes, let me ride by on my charisma, even though I could literally give millions of dollars. Because, like, a billionaire is so far beyond a millionaire, it's hard to comprehend. A trillionaire is exponentially so wealthy that he should be able to solve, like, all the world's hunger problems, like, instantaneously. But no, no, he's got to have 80,000 golden yachts or something. And... Smell to it. Not even old death. Nothing natural. I'm angry. Ugh! Asking for trust from people who, like, depend for their lives on you. For money. And you can't even be bothered to give them a decent wage. I guarantee these people aren't making a lot of money. Like, just your, your average everyday worker isn't making a ton of money. Oh, this looks a little slightly more ominous. Is this where I was? No. Lots of stuff. I'm gonna have to fight something big and mean and nasty, aren't I? I d it kind of- having these things that are like lit up kind of screws me over. Because I feel like I have to hover over all of them. Just in case they have something. And this place is being really tricksy with its secrets. Another cave-in. But I could get through. I mean, are you talking about that one we just did? Uh, from, okay, from Jay Friedkin. Oh, uh, subject re complaint. Hey, reception, if that's your real name, want to know who scheduled the Indo Malay right next to Fresh Grounds? That would be me, senior VP of sales. Want to know why? After that little hair pulling incident, both sides increased their bids by 40%. Oh. I'll explain, because your receptionist level brain probably requires it. Those two sides are fighting, and what do we sell? That's right, combat machines. We want them to hate each other, so they will try to fight each other with what? That's right, again, combat machines. Mmm! Which they will pay us a lot of money for. So just, I should, so just should go back to serving coffee with a blank smile, and let me do my much more complicated job. Thanks a bunch, Mr. Friedkin, to you. Oh my gosh! These people are downright evil! It's war profiteering! Which is illegal! <laughs> like, in so many ways! And morally bankrupt and reprehensible! And, oh my freaking gosh! So annoying! People will do anything to make money! And they will crush so many people to do it! And, like, instead of offering peaceful solutions to these problems, because that doesn't make money over time, it's why nobody's, like, solved cancer! Because it's more, it makes more money to, to, to treat cancer than to solve it! Because, oh my gosh, if they're treated, they won't spend any more money! Ooh! It's so annoying! And the people who made oxy, whatever, I don't know, the opioid, the people who made, oh, people who make opioids, right? That we have like an epidemic problem for? Uh, they are patenting right now the cure, basically, for it, which in and of itself is also somewhat addictive. It just gets rid of some of the symptoms of opioid addiction. Like, it's so frustrating! <laughs> It's so frustrating that people, like, why can't... I don't know. That's, that's a discussion for another time, I guess. I don't know. Looks like I can climb here. The people who make too much money in this world are never going to be looking for the in out for the interests of other people. They're like, oh, well, if I could do it, you could do it. It's like, there's structural, socioeconomic 
you know, roadblocks that are nearly impossible to get over. And... Besides, who would want to be you? Like, you're evil. I think people who make so much money and don't do anything good with it are evil. Like, they don't deserve that money. At all. I don't know. It's just really frustrating. <laughs> so, how do I do this? Hmm. Oh, can I... No? I could like there's like a way it looks like to like sidle along there. Well, can I hang on, hang on, hang on. <sighs> nope. Okay. Uh, maybe. I just don't think I can. Oh, okay, okay. So this, okay. I was like, I wasn't sure if that would let me because it was a vertical pipe. Okay. <sighs> Sit up straight. Come on. Come on. Yes. Woo. Okay. Come on. All right, we're gonna do it. 